Logan, it's been a couple of months since we did the last part. Why don't you give us one of those fancy anime recaps of what happened last time? <gasps> we ran in the desert. And isn't that isn't that the menu screen where he's just kind of walking in the desert? Yep. We ran in the desert. I could just show... The freaking anime flashback could just be the main menu. The <laughs> do -do -do -do, that's it. And somewhere in the middle of that, Matt became rat food, so... Maybe. Maybe yeah, I'm gonna eat this dirt. No, no, God damn it! I'm a man! I almost thought the joke you are gonna make, James, was that but the video starting off as skulls would be like, And thus we lay to rest those who went with this commentary to the grave. Yeah, no, so it's it's been a while, and it was mainly because we didn't know exactly how to handle the pacing. We had a lot of other projects that we really wanted to get to. This this and a couple other projects of mine were really meant to be more so, like, you know... Backups? Rainy day scenarios. Rainy day things. Whee! Oh my god, my skin is hurting right now. Yeah, I did not think this plan through. So, okay, so to actually legitimately catch up the story for Hype and James, who did not, who probably forgot in the last month or so that we haven't done this. The most I immediately remember is that you blew up a whole bunch, blew up a whole bunch of people with your with your fancy uh, therapeutic powers. That was my well, last cape. We lost our cape. Damn so it. we are. Oh, <gasps> behold. That's it. So we are Kenshiro. Once again, we are Kenshiro Ken, and we are chasing after our fiance Yuria. Or was she our wife already? Fiance. Fiance. And she was. we thought she was taken by a guy named Shin. Turns out she wasn't. She was actually kidnapped from Shin weeks prior and taken to... And we thought we had lost her forever until we met up with Rina-chan, who told us that the last point... The last... <laughs> spot she had been sighted was a place called Eden, the lot like some grand, grand paradise city of Eden. And it looks like we it looks like we weren't the first ones to get here. Nope, and unfortunately we're not the only ones who want to get in here. It's a very popular spot, and unfortunately, as with anything in you know the wasteland of the post-apocalyptic world, it's like for I understand they can't just be given out freebies just anybody to just yeah. waltz in and grab what they want so there is they're not it's not like a prison or anything like that there's just a very extensive like wait list. application kind of yeah kind of a application process or something and they don't want to take in too many people so now we are faced with our grand wall so many close-ups of ken's face it's almost like um, i mean that's look at that face it's chiseled like it's chiseled to god's likeness there's or at least the god of this universe anyway I don't know, like, just what from that want? camera angle, it looks like his face Dude, is really sinking into that giant miracles. neck of his. And sorry if I've been yeah. a little bit silent in this beginning part, you I had to take care of some puppy situations. Too, huh? okay. Nah, you're fine. So, uh, and I'm gonna say right now, we're not gonna really, I'm gonna mince words and say that the plot of this particular part that we're on, not a whole lot's gonna be happening just yet. There's gonna be, a because this whole main, this whole main area is meant to be the tutorial for moving about the area and interacting with NPCs, because we had, you know, the, the grand combat tutorial with Shin's guards. Now we're going to be introduced to, you know, the other big half of the... Yakuza style games in their story their and the uh, ways the in which you interact with other characters, like, you know, more RPG stuff. Um, so, I mean, again, I can pretty much sum up every conversation that's happening is that you can only get inside this pal, you can only get inside the city of Eden without. Uh, a certain object. We don't know what that object is yet, so we're going to try and ask around and learn more about how one gains passage into, you know, Eden. And I will I will quickly take a moment aside to say that given how Yakuza usually goes for those photorealistic visuals, like they do, like they do a really solid job of like actually like making the characters look like the like um not all of them like Kiru is its own like you know standout design, but like they do a really good job of making like side characters and like really important bad guys resemble their voice actors kind of. Like they'll yeah. look like famous Japanese actors There's and stuff. I have to do here. Um, I need to as far as what they did with with well, Fist of the North Star, though, it's um, I again, I am not someone I who mean, read the manga. Enough. I only been watching the anime with Seeley. I think they did a pretty solid job of making the characters resemble the same art style as yeah, the it's anime. Amazing. 
Uh, I should also say this is. I should also say this is coming from a guy who has not played any other Fist of the North Star game ever. I've never played the Dynasty Warriors one, although I hear that one's also pretty okay. Ken's Rage or whatever it's called. Uh, it's about as okay other... as it's about as okay as you think a Dynasty Warriors game is. That's like the okay. only other Fist of the North Star game I'm really familiar with. That and there was also that one game for the uh, Sega Master System, which in this, which was released in the states with that really fucking simplistic box art. What was it? it? Was just kung fu, and it I, just had. It was just literally a foot. foot, just a single foot. I'll put it up right now. A single foot, <coughs> which, given that it was called Fist of the North Star, just makes it seem all the more ridiculous. <laughs> it had one job. Okay, so I mean, know. honestly, I I don't think I could take the I don't think I could take this series seriously if it was literally called Foot of the North Star. <coughs> <coughs> no, it wouldn't. Heel of the Damned. I don't know. So <sighs> we now so we just now learned from her that. Uh, oh, the guards are going to be talking about something. But yeah, there are, uh, we just now learned that you just need some sort of like ID card or something to get into the city. So now we just need to find one of those thingies. Uh, and as you see, it's not as bad as Shantae, but this game does have at times, you know, the typical... It's the typical, you know, Kingdom Hearts RPG thing of like, you know, uh, not everything's voice acted. I mean, that's fair. You have to sort of... You have to deal, deal with what you can with whatever budget you have. Yeah, so I'm going, and again, I'm going to more or less be, you know, jumping around and, like, passing, like... Hello. Uh, other thing. Oh. Is this the entrance to Eden? Please let me in. That's right. Well, at least Man, you were honest. Were not Man, does in. everybody have, like, butt chins in this right. land? Nobody gets in without a permit from our ruler. If you don't have that, you're staying here. Yeah, fine. A permit? Yeah, that's what we need to go and grab. Like that. So, I'm also not going to mince words, well, and then I'm probably just going to be, like you know, in. we're going to be, you know, being very casual and talking about I'm other stuff as we go on with this, since this particular, like, more. adventure we're on right now is in yeah. kind of a slow point. They're very much meant to be, like, you know, grand exploration no areas, permit, but with only no one entry. small little area to explore for right now, not a lot to do in it yet. So I just, just now saw on YouTube, right, <laughs> apparently a year ago, Please. somebody Nobody is making a, um, for, it's one of those Smash Brothers, uh, those, so one of those fan games. I can't help but feel that, that one of that early, one of the, that guard's earlier comments made him sound like a total, like, like a total brat. It's like... Please, sir, don't make this any harder than it needs to be. <laughs> no, no, what were you saying about like Smash? Going. Uh, okay, it's not Smash. Oh, this guy's nice. Hey. What is your... But no, I, can, no, I was I on... Okay, okay so I'll say like to you. That. Yeah. But yeah, I'll say this. So, so James, <laughs> apparently a year ago somebody is working on... I, th I, don't, I wonder how he's doing with it. Is he made a... He's making a mod for Rivals of Aether. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And... The mod, you may have already seen in your related videos, maybe, but the mod he's making is literally a sprite-based animation of Terminal Montage's quote-unquote speedrunner Mario. Oh, God, yeah, that. I think they As already did that runner. for Fox. I think they've already done that for Fox as well. So, yeah, so he's, so I just saw this video. He's bringing, he's bringing up the freaking speedrunner Mario slapping around, and now mm -hmm. I gotta, like, now I gotta, like, dance with that, like, you know emotional turmoil of, I guess, Eternal Montage is making his own, like, cinematic universe or something now. <laughs> yeah, he's really, he's really pushing the boundaries with what he can get away with with his own Flash series. Or, Man, me, or animation series, but, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, an ambitious man. An ambitious man? More, <laughs> ambitious, more like suspicious. I mean, do you see that face? Yeah, look at that face. Yeah, that's fair. That's a face that only a that's someone only a character designer could love. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. That's a face that uh, only that's a face that only a gang lead lord can love. But hold the phone. He just he's got a permit. Yeah, oh, he hold the phone. He's got a permit well, to get inside. And he's bald. <gasps> well, I'm, bald, bald, I mean, bald, bald. I mean, right, my eyes. My eyes. But no, I mean, so. So I mean, so right away I can't. Right away, him being bald means that I can trust him at least thirty percent, regardless of however his eyes look. It's the it's the guys with the big old mohawks you gotta watch out for. Because mm -hmm. they always seem to like the big, like the biggest troublemakers out in Mad Mad Max land. So he says that he's fine. He's probably not going to use this permit, and instead just going to probably roam around, uh, find some big old army, and just try and take over. So that's why he doesn't want to use the permit. He's like, well. Sure, I'll just go and join some evil army and just come back and do it myself. So, Which, I, mean, I mean, enjoy the peace while it lasts, motherfucker. I mean, more or less. 
Dot, dot, dot. So, okay, I guess in order to try and, you know, liven things up a bit some more with this game, because this is not the entire, this is not the majority of the game. There <laughs> is a lot more excitement and quests to see inside, but it's... Like, what you're seeing that, here is like the bon is like the big bonafide trademark of the Yakuza series that, you know, translate over to this Yakuza-developed game. I mean, it's it's story driven, very very much story driven, and I and they're very good stories. I Celia and I watched Celia and I saw the whole game through, and I thought it was a very good story. And Yakuza Zero became one of the like best games in the entire franchise for a reason, and like brought over a lot of people who discovered it back when it like went on to Steam and all the other consoles. But um, so talk about a bit more about some of the fun and exciting silliness that can happen in this game. Uh, I saw in the demo a while back is. So you can't. They have. They decide to for the first time I had seen in the in any of the Yakuza series at least. They give you this massive like, this massive like wasteland area to drive around in a big old like car, and they have races and things like that. Uh, I thought it was silly at the time, but I still think it's pretty funny now. Is that uh, on the radio you can actually turn on the radio to play Super Monkey Ball music at one point, <laughs> just because same director. And mm. freaking what else? And then they have, and then some of the mini games in this are pretty fun and ridiculous in their own right. Like later on, you can get to be a bartender, which leads to a lot of fun. It's just a lot of little yeah. quirky QTEs that lead to basically Kenshiro using his fist of the North Star techniques to mix drinks better than anyone in existence. What was that, Celie? I said that poor doggo. I know we gotta help that doggo. Oh, and, 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 and of course the old lady that that probably owns him as well. That's why I said the old dog. Mm -hmm. No, old lady with dog. Oh, I my mistake. We're not reading the dialogue. We'd be here all day. But yeah, we're looking for a jewel because if we can get that jewel, we can trade it for the big guy to get the card, and then we can get the card to go. That oh my god, this took this game. Anyway, um, other little funny mini games we got. Let's see. Yes. Um, actually, now that I look at this 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 old lady, she's got, you know, for being as old as she is, she's got some she's got some sick hair dye game going on yeah right not a single gray hair in sight at least not that i can see oh, that's don't. anime for you i just love how she's like oh you don't want it but i Sounds do <laughs> he's super super nice and ken is a sweetheart as always yeah. but yeah oh uh, yeah no like he only he, this he seems like the kind of guy that will literally wreck the ever living living shit out of evildoers but when it comes to the uh he, he, but when the it innocent. comes to like the actual innocent folk oh. he's as sweet as a teddy bear I yeah, mean, that, I mean, that's has, pretty much his whole. He has a big heart, as you could probably see from his big chest. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> ha. He, he's got I a mean, chest that... big enough to hold the Grinch's Grinch's heart turned three t three sizes that one day. <laughs> but yeah, that I mean, that that pretty much sums up in a nutshell. Like that was potential spoilers. The reason why he became the master of this like fighting mm. technique is that he's someone who doesn't even really like to fight. He tries to avoid it whenever possible, kind of thing. But yeah. Um. Oh, so other funny oh, games they got in this. No. He's, he oh, but he needs he needs food. Yeah. But yeah, what else? They as much as I would have loved this game to have the karaoke stuff that Ow. Yakuza Sorry. Zero and stuff. Careful. As much as I would have loved this game to have the the uh, karaoke stuff, they replaced it instead with this like doctor thing where they put him in a doctor's gown and it's still rhythmic like beat to the. I love it. Still played to the music, but you're instead like using your fist and North Star technique to heal people rapidly. Oh. You'll see uh, him use it later. Is that the fist and North Star can be used to kill people, but it can also affect pressure points to heal you um, i noticed and, that one of the, the spe that's the specialty of one care one character that do we meet him in this demo no. or no no they may okay. continue there james i was actually about to question like i noticed one of the npcs had a big big yeah. honking s above him i assume he's like a save point oh yes you got yep. that yeah he's this he's our main save guy you can uh other things he can do is i know he can load checkpoints you can load dlc if you if you had it like what? A, i think there's a i believe there is a dlc skin in this game that lets yeah that lets uh, Kenshiro dress up as Kiryu, and just look it, like it's just Kiryu's model entirely, just with bigger shoulders. Um, I was gonna say what else we got. Uh, one of my one of my favorite mini games. It's hard. It's super hard to master, but it's so ridiculous to see what happens. Is uh, Kenshiro goes to this. Uh, it's this. This supposed to be like a security checkpoint of sorts yeah. to help defend the town of Eden oh, no. from people. I just realized this guy has a stiff back. Hmm. I'll fix your back. 
<laughs> well, there you go. Just, and then I'm so sorry, fuck. I just imagine Kenshiro doing the SpongeBob. Don't move! I'll save you! And just like running at yeah. this guy full force. That's like, no, 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 no. Around, just. And then just head butts him in the back entirely, crushing his spine yeah. from within. Well, I don't have nothing else to lose, aside from this meat. Hope you're not lying, good sir. Here we go. Hiya. Done. Huh? That's uh, how they okay. show it off in the cutscene. That's how they do it. That's how they show it off in the cutscene, just for the sake of, I guess, budget and stuff. But yeah, that's. Well, I mean, well, that's. You say budget, I say that's more just a case of staying true to its roots. More, mm -hmm. well, I, I guess I can see that, but yeah. So... Something like that, he says. In terms of visuals, in terms of visuals, it'll be like green is good, of course. Red yeah. and blue is usually more destructive forces or something. But and for that, we get our dog Premium food. Doggy. Hooray! To doggy. Yay! To give to the to give to the woman to get the crystal to get the crystal to give to the man to give to the <laughs> man to get the card and eh. But again, it, uh, I feel like it's ah, I feel like it's almost wrong to judge it at this point because like this is I feel in recent memory this is I think the worst it ever like really got. In terms of like a fetch quest, literally for the sake of a fetch quest, just yeah. To, no, this is literally something. giving me some serious trading side quests from L Link Link's Awakening kind of vibes. Yeah, but yeah, we'll give him the food. Oh, did you find any? Well, actually, no. I can think of I could probably think of a worse example than that, but that's Sorry, just what I don't know why comes I keep to mind. Doing that. What am I thinking of? Oh, like Wind Wind Waker's a rough one. I remember that trading quest. Oh God, don't remind me. That one's rough. No, offering of time. You're going everywhere. True. Yeah. Um. But okay, that's right. Sorry, back to that other mini game. I thought that was really funny. Is you're at this checkpoint and you realize that it's di that the checkpoint is actually an old baseball stadium that fell Aww. apart, Aww. and so and so Kenshiro takes up a massive steel girder and basically it's a baseball game because Yakuza usually has like a batting cage or something. It's a baseball game except the baseballs are bandits on their motorcycles riding towards you and then you literally swat them away three hundred meters away. I feel so bad. I mean, flying. she's not wrong by saying it's my time to go. I can't take it with me. Aww. Kind of makes me, you know, kind of makes me think to the like that old western western villain cliche of like they mm -hmm. die, but then their last words are like "bury me with my money." Are you trying not to talk to those outlaws there? <laughs> well, no, I'm just noticing that there's a lot more outlaws around here suddenly with with the Mohawks this time. Yeah, it's almost like, like here's the jewel. Don't go up to them. <laughs> I mean, something clearly, something's clearly going to happen. We're just waiting for it the at this point. Hand him the extravagant gem. Yes, we found one, you dumb. Now I got this. They're guaranteed oh, to let oh, me oh. in the gang. Yes. Ah. And Ken's just like, and Ken's just like, I really am not going to enjoy meeting this guy. Second, oh, you want to come with? You can be the, I can be the flunky. The flunky. No. No, thank you. Just give me the permit and shove off. <laughs> and we'll be on our way. Fine. Fine. Lighten the hell up. Yeah, that's just his thing. I don't... I, please, I feel please like... Please tell I, me we're going to bash his brains in later. Oh, ooh. Potentially, and don't worry about... Don't mind that little hiccup there. The, 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 the That discovery I learned on how to fix the Donkey Kong Country 2 footage was discovered long after this. Okay, so now, <laughs> I'm, now I'm getting weird vibes from him. Yeah, oh, he does... Oh, it's the, the mustache. Thing was a fake. Damn it. Of course we were fucking tricked. Curses... But the secret is like different. Pretty sure they use a different material. Well, it's a forgery. Well, and what was the other thing? What? Oh. Uh-oh. He overheard. Can we at least get the gem back? I yeah, really very much like the gem back. You know damn well he's not going to give it back. I never know how to read that exact. But anyway. Of now course. I gotta kill ya. Well, I gave him fair warning that he probably shouldn't have said that to me. Fine, I'll just kill you then. I would not if I, I would Look not recommend that. Look at his veins that. on his arms, the way the lighting is hitting it. That pretty much is, I would not recommend what? it. And he's about to learn very quick. Because, yeah, thank goodness, I think the fetch quest is over. We're going to get actually get to the action. Okay. Oh. I got a yeah. lot of steam. I got a lot of pressurized steam that needs to be exerted into your face. You have no idea. Run, sir, how run. Much, how stressed. Yeah, I was like, you have no idea how low light. You have no idea how stressed I am from that quest. And it's time to finally exact some revenge. And someone's gonna finish off with him first. Is there a difference Close between low lives and outlaws? I think it's just like I think it's just a random silly thing the game does. I know in the original and Yakuza you get to go against. Sorry about that, pal. You could go against delinquents, gang members, just hooligans. They'll say all sorts of random things. So, hi. How you doing over there in the bleachers? Eh. Wee! 
Okay. Oof. I love this nice. technique. Oof. It's, like, it's, like, it's like a three for one sale. There is a lot of fun. There is fun stuff to be had in this whole series. I, and I, oh, I remember. Go ahead. I feel really sorry for whoever happens to be like beneath that guy when he explodes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what if I? Yeah. It's like I throw it. It's like I. Oh, just a, I love this one because it's just a slap in the face. But it's a slap that really gets to the brain after a while. When Kenshiro pets you, you stay pet. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's, that's bad. Don't worry, he survived. Maybe no, no, that guy's dead, of course. Mm. But fortunately. We got our yeah. we, well. Actually, no. Now I think about it, fuck. Now we that we just learned that, a, that thing was a fort. Yeah, we still yeah. don't have the real deal. Well, that was a lot of that was a lot of legwork no. for nothing. Sorry, guys. The story just decided to make things a little more complicated. However, probably better than us showing a fake <laughs> permit and possibly getting locked up for it. Fair. I don't think we'd probably even be getting any water or whatnot for our troubles. Oh, look, Holy that crap. little smile. Yeah. That was so cute. I was about... That was the other thing I was going to say earlier, was that I think I can count on one hand the number of times I've seen Kenshiro, like, smile. <laughs> it's, it's just... Yeah. It, there's a wall there. It's like... It, it's honestly... Hmm. I guess when you put, like, a little tally between how many times they smile, who do you think would win, win in that regard? Kenshiro or Batman? Batman. I, I think... Mm, in terms of smiling, I don't know. I think Kenshiro would win just because Kenshiro has more people in his life. Oh, what's Batman going on here? Alone. Oh, no. Oh, apparently an actual cutscene. Oh, bandits have arrived. Ah, uh, of course. Oh, that's right. Looks like you're just a little too slow. <laughs> oh, oh, that's... Oh, the rest... Of, I guess the rest of his gang finally showed up. Have mercy. Just spare my boy. Ah, is that your son? Okay, not sure who voices these guys in English. Just hand over the goods to us, and I promise we won't have any trouble. Oh, dude, stuffle bag? All I had was like two sleeping bags in it. I, would, I tried to eat that. Bon appetit. Now I think you better go. Oh, well, come on. Up and at him. You know damn well he's not gonna let him. Jeez, right in front of the boy. They right have, in front of the boy. They have no remorse. That's bandits for you. And the boy doesn't even... Hell, that was well, the boy's probably locked up in, like, just shock right now. What the heck just happened? Sorry, bo sorry, little guy. Uh, Dad's, Dad's got his head split in half. Pretty much. This is rough. Oh, I forgot. Are you still hanging around, kid? I mean, I don't know what you expect from him to do. He's just well, a kid. Maybe I got a little present for you. You know they're not gonna kill a kid. I don't know, Yakuza's done so I don't know, actually I don't think Yakuza's ever killed a kid either. Fair. Besides, Ken's here to save the day. Dun, da, da, da. Huh? Who the hell are you supposed to be? I mean, when you actually when you compare the yeah. two. Get that actually, out of shit, my now, face. Actually look at those two side by side. The kid kinda looks like he would be a be a, like a much what younger Ken. Yeah. To mean? Here you go. Oh, here you go. <laughs> you there is and again, there is almost like a uh, did you just notice something? Oh! So that's a hit pain I was feeling. Ooh! I would... There is an element of... How to put it? Now I'm thinking about it, in terms of, like, the actual, like, Fist North Star, like, some of the combat and some of the battles and stuff, there is almost... I'd almost say to James and Hype, there's almost, like, an element of asterisk with its fights, like, in a sense of... At least against common thugs, like, the... Like by you know, like by episode like what ten or fifteen, you've already pretty much you've already pretty much gathered the fact that Kenshiro is pretty unbeatable at least against a common man. Okay, and so yeah. basically, when it comes to Fist of the North Star, the big like the fights there are still like you know they're a spectacle, but they're not like the like the only thing that makes it so iconic. No, yeah, no, there's some no, there's some great characters that are involved in the series like. Uh, not shown here. We'll maybe be, we'll be able to see a glimpse of them in the actual like in some of the flashbacks. But usually, Kenshiro has these two kids who have accompanied him on his journeys. More so, like one of them just kind of tagged along just because the kids saw Kenshiro as holy crap. He could be like my bodyguard, and I could like 
I would stand a lot better chance surviving if I hang out with him rather than anybody else. And the girl was somebody who Kenshiro does genuinely, like, want to look after and stuff, almost that's, like a father figure. That's fair. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, like, this definitely does seem like the kind of series where, like, again, there are still those, like, little nuances that give it it's more, more of its depth, but when it comes to the fights, they know that Kenshiro is going to pretty much be the, pretty much beat them all, so they just use those times to just be as fun and flashy as they, as they want to be. Oh yeah, no. And then again, there's like elements of humor and <laughs> gotcha. stuff. Like... No, I'm sorry. Just suddenly, I kind of want to see, or maybe it's already been a thing in the series, just fucking yeah. Fist of the North Stars variant of the Londinium scene in Asterix State in Britain. Oh, which one was that? The one oh, where... Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, yeah, where they, oh yeah, where they fall the tower. Right. I'm going the down the tower oh. just beat them all up. And then he's like, I'm down here. I'm going up. No, I'm coming down. They just beat them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <They keep beating. laughs> Die. That was great, and I do... They do actually... There is a... I will not say how, but... Oh. Hold it. Oh, hello. Those were martial arts, Put they? down the freaking Nerf dart gun, and maybe you know we'll talk. know English dub, Logan? Who voices him in the English dub? Imari Williams. Who is... Um... All Hang you on. martial artists, I you, I you bullshit fancy moves. No, <laughs> the names that come to mind. Like, the name sounds like something I've read before, but... If there's one thing I hate... Goddamn martial artist. Well, I mean, it would explain why he's a gun. A dead one. I mean, okay, I'll, I'll I'll break. I'll just kind of you know spoil it a little bit here, just because the game's been out for a while. This guy actually ends up being kind of like a Groose What's character. What the like, hell to patrol, dude? you know, like Groose from Skyrim, sort of like in the sense oh of like God, you. Will, I, just realized, you will, yeah, so, I mean, despite that he's mostly a ball, no, mostly a baldy, he has a, his hair. Whatever hair he has is very much shaped like Groose's so little tent. Mm -hmm. Right, but yeah, but it, but it's not just that. Like throughout the story, you do come to like him a lot more, and he really grows. He really grows to like Kenshiro. But yeah, that is Jager or Jogger or uh, something. Jogre. Jogre. Logan, here's the um, link to. Uh, what did he do, sir? I usual. Look at what Imari Williams has done. Artist. Let us see. Well, but what were we saying just now? But um, no, that tower thing would be fantastic. They do actually have something similar, at least to the moment of, all right, if you want this door to stay where it is, you better open up. And they all laugh. Okay. And they just breaks right there. They have something similar to that in this. But but if I heard but, uh, right, he's the one who saved the boy I know for uh, well, I mean, okay, hype may get a kick out of this at least. Uh, they do. Celie can tell. Celie's told me they do uh, have a moment that just straight up has it. It's the freaking twist. Uh, it's the freaking twist. It's the I don't care if he on. saved someone's life. I don't care if he saved someone's life. He's still a devil damn martial artist. I'm racist he, like that. He he really there is there you you do learn a backstory of why he hates martial arts. I'll tell you off screen, but there is yeah. there Jackie Chan scored me for life. Kind of. But yes, they for hype's sake, they do actually in the actual anime or whatever, they have a moment that is very much like <laughs> Well you think this is gonna work. It's like yeah, I'll live with it. Spoilers, he absolutely could probably break out of that if he wanted to, but uh, he actually has learned that wait a minute. I could I go, did, since that. they're about to arrest me, I'm going to go inside the city anyway. So, sure. hey, this works. Right, also, for hype's sake, I guess this guy, Amari Williams, he voices Blade in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. And, sorry, the other thing I was going to try and finish off my bed is that in, in terms of the humor of what they can do with it in the series, they do have a moment where it straight up is like the uh, that, that video clip, the smartest Batman goon. <laughs> <laughs> where somebody sees him in a bush of hay, he's like, "See anything? Nope." Just let him go. Let him go. Actually, sh actually, now that I think about it, shit. I mean, going back to that Asterix in Britain movie, it's like now nah, I'm suddenly thinking back to that one scene where Obelix was literally, you know, he was in the he was in the cell after his whole drunken spree. Yeah. And then, well, he just non like nonchalantly just leaves. Yeah. No. 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 And and the, 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 you will see something like that in the next part. So stay tuned. Okay. Till next time, everybody. Bye. Bye.